A perfect storm of factors fueled one of the most destructive wildfires in California's history. That's the conclusion of a comprehensive report on the Woolsey Fire. It destroyed more than 1,600 structures and brought challenges to fire departments mm -hmm. that are being called unprecedented. KCAL 9's Randy Page is live in Malibu, one of the several cities hit hard by the Woolsey Fire. Randy? That they were, and we want to point out that many of the concerns that are raised in this after action report we actually experienced while covering this fire. Concerns about fire engines that never show up to burning houses, about evacuations that are called so late homes are already burning around them. So we want to take you back to November 9th of last year when I was standing in this spot looking at the fire that was racing up this canyon toward me. So I want to begin by showing you the ocean just over my left shoulder. Now take a look at the homes that are just about ready to go up in flames. There is not a fire engine to be seen. The fire was moving so fast on that November evening, we had to run to stay ahead of it. And when we made it to the street, we saw a sheriff's vehicle cutting through the smoke, alerting everyone to evacuate. Attention residents on Dune Drive, please evacuate your home as homes burned all around us. Were you ever notified with a knock on the door and told to evacuate? No. Richard Gibbs lives in one of the homes we watched burn to the ground. The one next door, fully involved too. He and his wife ran for their lives a few minutes before we arrived. We left just before you filmed that clip. This after action report on the Woolsey fire released today calls for more specific evacuation plans that can adapt to major road closures and a fast paced disaster. Another concern, only half of the fire engines that were called to the fire actually showed up because they were unavailable due to other fires burning at the same time. According to the after action report, first responders were simply overwhelmed. And while it calls for better preparation, communication and evacuation plans, it also warns the public has a perception that public agencies can always protect them. As an incident the size of the Woolsey fire shows, this is not always possible. And that is such an ominous warning we did experience at the command post during that fire, hearing the folks who were orchestrating fighting this fire talk about the safety of lives being coming first and saving homes second. And of course, they didn't often get to that second step because they were so busy trying to keep people out of harm's way. This after action report will be released Saturday in a public hearing. And we can give you early reaction, preliminary reaction for the chair of the Board of Supervisors, Janice Hahn, who says she believes more firefighters will be needed to deal with fires that are sure to come. Let's go back to you. All right, Randy Page mm. reporting live. Thank you.